Okay, let's look at another problem similar to what we have done right now, validating email addresses with a filter. Let's go through this. <clears throat> Here you can see you are given an integer n followed by n email addresses, and our task is to print a list of uh, containing only print a list containing only valid email addresses in lexographical order. I'll explain lexo uh, lexicographical order what it is later on. You can see here uh, the, there are some condition uh, for valid uh, email addresses. You can see it must be in the format of username at the rate website name dot extension. Then the username can only have letters, digits, uh, dashes, and underscores. So you can see a to z, capital A to z, zero to nine then uh, this you can see dashes and underscore this is underscore and this is dash website name can only have a to z capital a to z then 0 to 9 these are the restriction and then uh, a to z and capital a to z extension can be uh, like this and it has to be uh, maximum length can only be 3 okay so like dot com dot co co as like this uh, you have seen website names emails addresses so this is the format we have to follow so you can see you can smell regex we have to use again uh, concept uh, of filter is there you can see so if i uh, look at here so we have to complete the function uh, f1 and this part is given to us so you can see what is happening uh, this is a function so main is here so it is starting from here main so uh, small n value you will get first then they have defined a list called emails inside emails they are feeding the all the emails and it is being passed emails is passed to filter mail filter mail function filter mail is function is this guy which is taking emails and inside this it is applying a fun function to email right filter how this filter works you can see here a filter takes a function returning true or false which is fun which will be returning true or false right and applies it to a sequence this is the sequence and returning a list of only those members of the sequence where the function returned true so the output the output this whole output will be the emails uh, which will be filtered by this fun okay so um, that's how uh, the output is being uh, generated so fun is a function which either returns true or false and it will uh, apply to all the emails and it will make a list finally filter will make a fi finally list which uh, which will have only valid emails okay which which uh, where, uh, which fun is showing a true for that is how you can sing where, where the function returns true a lambda can a function can be used in with uh, filters you can see see an example so let's say you have to make a list of the squares of uh, integers from 0 to 9 so you can just uh, define a list uh, range 0 uh, range 10 so it will define the list values from 0 to 9 and it will store in l now you apply lambda x such that x into x so it will apply square into each element of l it will map and uh, it will convert into list so very easy now uh, you only requ require those elements which are greater than 10 but less than 100 in this output you want only those values which are greater than 10 but less than 80 then what you have to do is you can see here you can apply the filter function uh, this is the function it is being applied instead of one you have this function and the sequence is this and uh, the output you will be getting is uh, greater than uh, 10 or less than 80 so just a demo it is giving here okay so basically you will apply filter to each uh, the way you will apply a fun function to each of the emails here and uh, this is what uh, filter is doing and uh, uh, then it will convert into list okay so this is what the the uh, uh, the program is and then it will return the li uh, list here again back here list and then it will be sorted and then it will be printed okay so here you can see this is the example complete the function fun we have to only uh, change the function fun 
so one has the following parameter string s uh, the string to test so email basically one email then boolean it will return either valid or invalid so first you will be having n then n lines email each line is non empty string so you will be getting uh, emails in each line so you can see here three is the number of emails so first email second email third email and the output we are getting is like this a list of all three emails arranged in lexicographical order lexicographical means oh, which is this guy lexicographical it means that uh, um, arranged in uh, ascending order from lowest to highest but when you have uh, the uh, alphabets it it uh, compares word by uh, character by character so here you can see the first character first character is l here here b here also b so these two are same right and this l is uh, not same and l comes after b right alphabetically l comes after b so these b guys this b guys are first in the list and uh, the l guy is last okay third now how we going to decide among these two which one will come first so look at the other character uh, second character here it has r here also it has r so look at the next character i i they are same then look at the next character a and here it is t so here makes uh, the difference so a comes first and t comes later on that's why this guy is second and this guy is first that is what lexicographical uh, order means so character by character you compare uh, as far as it is same uh, there is no difference uh, whenever uh, whichever character will make a difference you see which one comes first alphabetically so t comes later alphabetically a comes uh, first so that's why uh, this email will come first okay so that's how it works in character in numbers you already know uh, lowest to highest one to like this so that is what uh, lexicographical is and we don't have to do it because this sort function does the same okay so we don't have to work on that we just have to f uh, fill the func function okay which is basically a regex thing these are the conditions we have to match and return true so simple i'll write uh, the first the format i'll write which is uh, basic so i'll import re and i'll check if condition is matched uh, i'll print what return sorry return true right tru uh, if not else return return false this is what we have to uh, send right uh, either it returns false or true now i have to write the expression so re dot search re dot search this one is simpler actually so inside that search i have to write the expression right and then we can we can uh, give the value of uh, s s is coming here as a string at this small s and here i'll write the regex expression r inverted comma so this is uh, how the main thing will look like so now the main uh, these five uh, conditions we have to fulfill so first it has to be in this format right so here in username what you can have you can have letter digits dashes and underscore so if you remember uh, in regex if you'll write uh, let's first start the uh string start then if you 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 have slash w slash w so slash w will cover small a to z capital a to z 0 to 9 and underscore but it will not consider dash okay so i have to give dash as well so comma dash if it will start from any word any of this or uh, dash and then what you are having is uh it can be one or more right plus means one or more if you remember re in python plus means one occurrence or more see here plus means one occurrence or more so this means one word one word either a 
capital A, one, two, three, any anything, but only one character. Okay, and either this or dash. It is starting with. It is starting with starting defines by this guy, and plus means it can be more than one, right? So here you can see this is a W, and this is W plus, or this is also W plus. So I hope you are able to uh, think. I mean, I'm. I'm. Uh, it could be anything in this uh, word domain. W uh, it could be either a to z, capital A to z, zero to nine, dash, or uh, underscore. Or uh, it can have one or more values. Then comes at the rate. Right. This is the format here. Then again, you have a website name. Website name can have uh, a to z, capital A to z, zero to nine. So this I'll express it here. Right. So bracket cap A to Z, then capital A uh, to capital Z, then zero to nine. Right. So this looks much more clean. You can also write with comma or or thing. Same thing I've done here as well. You can also do like this, but uh, it makes this a difference. That's why I'll do like this. Then you have what dot you have, uh, or this condition is full. Then you have dot, but if you have to literally use dot. Then you have to use with slash if you remember, because dot has its own meaning, right? Dot has its own meaning, so that's why I have to write not the dot, it's slash dot. But okay, so that is literally dot. Then extension. What is the extension? Extension can be a to z. Okay, one thing I forgot here. This also is plus, right? One or more, right? And then here you can see extension is a to z. A to Z, or capital A to Z, capital A to capital Z, and this can be uh, the maximum length can be three, right? So it has to be one comma three. At least one, it should be having one character. It should be having one, two, or three. It can have, right? So here you can have one character, two character, or three character. That is what this bracket. One three means. So you are done. Now you can stop the search. So dollar sign, and then this will be your uh, string. So return true, else return false. Let's run the code. Sample test cases are passed. All the test cases are passed, and uh, we are done. Right. So it is slightly easier than uh, the previous one because it's straight away. But you will learn uh, a lot. You just focus on regex part uh, a lot. Uh, it will slowly come in into your head. Okay. Let's move on to the next problem now.